guys welcome back to my channel so today we are going to be doing a mukbang we're going to be trying marco's pizza what did we get oh what no this is the pepperoni in italian Ooh. pepperoni and old pepperoni and we also got um some yes. cinnamon squares we'll show y'all that when we eat them and then we got some buffalo chicken wings that's what the cinnamon squares look like all right so let's just get into eating say that great I was praying for both of us. No, I prayed. <laughs> so we've been missing. We haven't done a, we haven't filmed a video in a while. No, bro. Niggas ain't um we ain't been eating, I guess. <laughs> we ain't really been eating. Mm. This shit's steaming too. Oh, this pizza is good. It's alright. You haven't even had the PC yet since we saw it. No, I'm talking about this wing. Oh. Um, I mean, the price is good. I might have to tell them to fry a I, little hard. I was thinking about that when I was on the phone. But yeah, we've been messing because we had technical difficulties with my vlog camera. And I was feeling the way about that. He has a podcast now. So, we've been trying to figure out what's the best time to like film for me just by myself and together on top of his podcast these are some big do y'all see this sausage that's like, like a the, whole sausage i like pizza places i give them mm. a real damn no on. Mm, that's good all right damn. they took this sausage right off the pig gas i guess <laughs> Oh man, but I want. Mm. Any good? Yeah, it's good. Right. Um, it's 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 good. How good? Maybe off me just being hungry too, but it is good. Mm -hmm. I tell you what, it's better than goddamn Pizza Hut. Mm -hmm. Cardboard Papa John. We're having a festival here called Something in the Water. That for real. It's bringing to the area, and we're not going because we didn't get our tickets in time. But it's okay. Um, something <laughs> might pop up at the last minute. I'm not holding my breath, though. If it's meant to happen, it'll happen. Um, if they want stuff like this, it always happens when you your money is tied up, like the tickets drop on a non-pay week. So I'm pretty sure everybody here that work and get paid every other week understands what that means. So, and if you weren't able to get them initially, it's like you kind of missed your window, bro. But um, we filed. So the price of the tickets was never an issue, but it's just like you randomly you know, have something like that in your area that you're not expecting, you know, you got to prioritize. We have a kid, so we can't just be like, oh, we're just going to spend this money that we had set aside for groceries and pull-ups mm -hmm. and wipes, you know what I'm saying, and food. I mean, like, we can't just do that, you know. I mean, you can. You, yeah. If you want to eat noodles for about a, the next 60 days yeah, or I so. I eat noodles. Let's talk about your podcast. What made you want to start a podcast? Well, this story dates back a couple of years ago, all in Willacoochee, Georgia. Come on, Deontay. Seriously. I was in Willacoochee. Give, give us the quick version. Outside of saying I wanted to do it. That's it. But why? That's how you really eat a chicken. That's how you know you love a chicken, because how you just bit that chicken. How you pull the whole chicken in your mouth, but you pull it out and the whole side of the chicken is gone. <laughs> That's how you know I don't know how to eat chicken. To answer your question, mm -hmm. the podcast was made because I felt like my views on certain topics or life in general, I felt like I wanted to get those out. So with that being said, probably the easiest way to do it would be podcasting outside of what we're doing right now. 
Wicked Leftover Sister Podcast, by the way. Check us out on SoundCloud. A little shameless plug. One of the things we talked about this week was Cardi B. Don't, don't give it away. Well, don't give it away. Yeah. Y'all got to go watch it to get the full the full I mean, scene, but you can briefly tell them. I mean, everybody, I'm pretty sure everybody knows what's going on with it, though. Um, pretty much some old videos. Because the videos is a couple years old, That's actually. Kind of crazy. But um, um, pretty much in the videos, I think it's on Instagram, but Cardi pretty much was saying how when she was a stripper, she was living a certain lifestyle. Mm-hmm. But she was a part of a couple setups where they were setting up dudes who was trying to take her back after the club from the strip club. Thinking they was gonna have sex with her, they wake up. Uh, well, first they, I guess, they got drugged or they get drugged. She put something in their drink. They wake up. <clears throat> She's gone, and all that stuff is gone. And uh, I guess people was feeling no way about that. But um, at the same time, Cardi never really lied about nothing. I guess that what is pretty much why people gravitated towards her. Mm-hmm. So it's funny that now it's kind of like her being honest is being brought back, kind of like brought back like, whoa, what's this? When it's like, bro. I think because she went too far. You know how it's like some things in your life that people say, oh, I'm never going to talk about that. And not like I'm trying to hide things, but some, you know, like just let's be honest. A lot of people in the world, they can't take mm-hmm. honesty, which is why. This is probably a bad example. Mm. Why the government don't share and tell us everything? Because if you was to just be honest and tell people everything, you know, the world probably really wouldn't be a better place. Not saying it's all that great right now, but so it's like that. It's like she probably should have kept some things to herself. You being too, too honest, and that can turn around and bite you in the ass. And that's exactly what I feel like it did to her. At that point, she's not the honest Cardi B. It's the you was drugging people, Cardi B, and now people feel away about. It. Because I mean, I can't say you you've been too honest when it's something that was before you blew up. See, that's the thing. What happens generally with people in situations like this, where you see the type of person she is, and people become enamored by it, but then, excuse me, they find some shit that's already kind of been out there. And then people kind of have outrage towards it. And it's like, well, you're going to have outrage towards it. Why have it now? And not such and such amount of years ago before she got famous. But see, that's the thing, too. Before you get famous, nobody really gives a fuck what you're saying. Mm -hmm. So even if you're saying stuff like this, nobody really cares until you win a Grammy. Now we're going through with a fine tooth comb on everything that you ever said and did. Never, she she's always been honest about herself and her life. Yeah, and she's never lied about that aspect of it, which is why people like her and gravitate towards her. So you can't say, hey, you know, I like that how ratchet you are, and then say, whoa, that's too ratchet. <laughs> like, cause I'm gonna be honest with you, that didn't shock me, cause that's the type of lifestyle oh, she involved uh-huh. in. Rick Ross also said it too. But yep. he was the wrong person to say it because, you know, you had your issues with rap lyrics saying you putting stuff in and somebody drank and she don't know it. So you can't, he, he's saying. the wrong, the message was wrong from the wrong person. We glorifying that, but when it's but, a female. Oh no, they like, didn't glorify it. But, uh, but even then, it's like, I don't feel like it was made as big of a deal. Like, oh, men, no, men say a lot of stuff in songs every right. day. And it's bad. It's real bad. They talk about drugging women and taking advantage of women all the time. But the moment a female does it, because like I said, niggas do it in all of their songs. And when a female has done an interview or whatever, have talked about it, about what she did years ago, and now it's being brought back up. I feel like everybody's trying to make an example out of her. Well, let's make an example out of all these men that have put it in all of their songs. But we're not, because to be honest, and I'm guilty of it, I'm rapping along with a song and I realize in that really this song ain't for me because what they saying is kind of disrespecting me because i'm a female so i, I mean I, don't what, know. I do remember that instance when that song did come out and they was on his ass oh, that ranch was for your wings too i don't really eat ranch with my wings oh honestly. sorry i probably I, I, I wanted to um end the video i guess maybe we can try to start doing this whenever we do mukbangs together but try to end it on like some relationship stuff, uh, maybe things that we 
improved on in our relationship, nothing bad, is how we communicate with one another. We try to listen more than we talk. So we started this whole, you know, like not talking over each other. I mean, we're not perfect because you get into a, a heated discussion. I like to say me and Deontay get into heated discussions because we don't have too many arguments where it's like we just ain't dealing with each other. We're not talking to each other like... You know, it's, it, we haven't had too many of those throughout our relationship, but we have like heated discussions. And what we do, we both try to hold each other accountable to say, hey, you know what I'm saying? Like, let me finish, let me get this out. Because sometimes when you're in the mix of an argument, you may be saying something that could make it better. And that person might hear the beginning of the, comp the sentence and be like, you know, and then they start going off and it's like, wait a minute, let me finish. So we've been trying to improve and get better at that or whatever. But I don't know, it's just something I wanted to share because I feel like yeah. a lot of people do that in their relationships and don't realize that you could be adding to the arguments time you need to listen before they talk. I suck at this. It's a work in progress. Because me, I tend to forget a lot of the shit that's been discussed. And you don't like to argue. Like, you don't really, you don't even like But the main tension. thing as far as that it's the fact that I, it's hard for me to hear five minutes of material and respond to all of them off the top of my head. So the best way for me to respond to everything a lot of the time, I, I may, I, I tend to interject in between, but it's not more of a, like me trying to be rude. It's just like, I'm looking at it more so as I kind of got to get this off because I'm going to forget this in 10 minutes and you're going to be like, and I'm trying to respond and I don't know what to respond to because I forgot everything you said already. I'm paying That's attention, fair. but it's hard for me to hit on my points that I always wanted to make mm -hmm. if I forgot them. Okay. I almost forgot this right there. <laughs> or like you, it's okay to sometimes agree to disagree, but be respectful about it like we're not always going to agree and i feel like that's why we for one got into a relationship and why we've lasted as long as we have and why we come together really good when it comes down to parenting because i may not agree with certain things that he do and vice versa it's great it is do you like it yeah it's all right it's pretty good I don't see it being something I get all the time. No, me either. But I ain't really into the scent of bread from any place like that. I normally get it, which is why I wanted to try it. We just want to say thank you all for watching. Um, sorry it's been so long, but we'll try to come back with different videos. Uh, if y'all watch my vlog channel, y'all will know what happened with the whole camera situation. You got to head over there to figure out you know, what happened. Did I get a new camera? Did I not get a new camera? If I did, what kind of camera did I get? But yeah, so uh, we're going to go ahead and end it here because we're yeah. both kind of full. But we just want to say thank y'all for watching. If y'all trying to get in on some of this, come get this shit, bro. Come <laughs> get in on, on this shit. Days. Matter of fact, get them this. <laughs> y'all No, need I like my cinnamon stuff. Bro, let these niggas get some cinnamon stuff. Bye, guys. Come eat this. <laughs>